Hey guys. Um, and so I wanted to do a video about all the the Spider Man stuff that's been coming out uh, very recently. You know, with the Sony hack, and you know, it was it started off. You know, Spider Man could was uh, Sony like uh, Sony wanted to try and get um, Sam Raimi to uh, to 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 back in the Spider Man universe and whatnot. Um, which I think it could could be interesting. Um, you know, I think if Sam Sam Raimi, if I'm not mistaken, with Sam Raimi. Raimi he um he did the first two was all it was all him and then the th the the second one the third one and the reason why it was bad it was not I heard I heard that I hear that um I heard that it was um it was not his really fault it was he was told to have all these characters and he didn't want to have all these characters in the movie um but he was forced to use what he was told he was told to use these characters and use this many use it this way and he would try to do his best with what he was forced told to use um so you know i think that if they bring him back he could do uh, pretty well um you know as long as they let him let him go and not um you know someone somewhere in in um uh, in sony is is has too much um control too much involved and so you know uh so it started off after there was that sam raimi stuff and then you know, possibility of the Spider-Man, um, of Sony, uh, partnering with Marvel, you know, giving them, uh, like a, a split and splitting it and, uh, having, uh, Spider-Man appear in some Avengers movies, you know, not like, uh, like Captain America, um, Civil War and stuff like that. Um, and, you know, then it fizzled out and it d disappeared and now it's back with, um, uh, you know, with, I think is it Sony Japan is saying that there is a possibility um, that maybe could happen something like a four, a sixty forty percent to split. Um, you know, giving a Marvel, like, I think, give Marvel the favor and whatnot. As long as, you know, Kevin Feige has control and all those guys, maybe this could be um the good good thing to do. You know, a good idea to do. Um, I think that um you know. Th this this idea of Marvel and 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 Sony partnering, I think there's a way that it could be good. Um, I just think that the only way for this to be, uh, to be a good idea is if it's pretty much, you know, Marvel has a full control and they're just, and, uh, Sony is just getting a, um, it's just like an investor in the whole thing and, um, helping and, and pretty much, you know, that's it. Like Sony would just be the, the, the investor that gives all the money and, uh, gets the return and stuff like that, and gets no more than that, you know, gets, like, a royalty uh, on the thing. Um, now, you know, maybe, you know, maybe they can um, do it. I, I mean, the first Spider-Man, Amazing Spider-Man with Andrew Garfield was, 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 was okay, was pretty good, you know, and the second one, there was just too many people, too many heroes um, in there, and they're just so limited. I mean, you know, if you were going to go and have any one superhero and only have the rights to one superhero spider-man is not your person is like the last person on there you know uh fox they got x-men they got wolverine they got cyclops they got everyone you know all those characters spider-man you get spider-man uh black cat uh spider girl venom those characters um you know you really just need um a really good movie to have like a solo venom story and whatnot so it's very and very limited with spider-man and not having him in the main universe because he is um, like the uh, he is the Marvel universe in the comics. You know, uh, he's the guy who's always swinging by, and you know he, he he's he's the one that, that looks up the cap, and you know uh, you know it's, it's just he is that 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 you know the Marvel universe. So he can't having him on, on alone is is very difficult to use in in a film, in my opinion. So I think that he, they need to, they, they need to, um, you know, let Marvel get most of the control. Now, maybe, so will Marvel, hmm, let me take a breather. Um, I don't know though if, if this deal does go, you know, the 60-40 or whatnot or something different, um, would Marvel take it, uh, you know, to have Spider-Man in there because, I, I don't, I mean, Marvel really doesn't get too much out of this. I mean, they get to have Spider-Man in their movies, and that's pretty much it. Um, now, I'm not sure if it's going to actually be Andrew Garfield or if they'd recast him or not. Um, now, I think that, you know, having Marvel, having, 
having them there doesn't give too much, in my opinion, uh, for Marvel. I mean, they get Spider-Man in there, they, you know, and, and that's about it. And, they, they, you know, Captain America Civil War is still going to be a big movie. After Captain America, The Winter Soldier, and, you know, uh, The Avengers uh, breaking down, like, Avengers, like, there, there are going to be people, you know, who only watch, watch the first Avengers, watch the second Avengers, and that's it. You know what I mean? They didn't watch all the movies or whatever. And, you know, maybe a few movies here and there, like Avengers uh, and Guardians, you know, the big movies that really people really heard about. Um, and then, you know, so I think after, maybe after um, Avengers 2, though, you know, when they hear about all the, 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 the falling down, the falling apart of the, of the, um, of the heroes, that is really, and, and that it's going to finish, you know, in, in kind of really happen in, in Captain America, the Civil War. I think that, you know, the, the, the people who are only watching the Avengers movies, you know, uh, when they come out and not watching all of them between movies, you know, that they, uh, at the end of the Avengers Age of Ultron, will be going, to, we're, we're going to want to go see uh, Civil War because of however this, um, you know, the, 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 the team is, 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 the Avengers are dis dismembered and put against each other and all that. So I feel like, um, you know, all that, their friendship, the test and testaments, you know, are, are all going to be left, you know, at the end of the, the Age of Ultron, they maybe have won, you know, defeated Ultron or whatnot, but at the end of the day, they're still all, um, you know, they're, the team is not, is not fixed. Um, the problem's gone, but the team, the team is not fixed. So I think that, uh, you know, those people are going to want to stay and go and watch um, Civil War, you know, so I don't know if having Spider-Man in there will really change it up too, too much. Um, well, is really necessary um, in Marvel's uh, for Marvel's uh, part. Now, in the story, in the comics, he's really um, Spider-Man is like the main character. I mean, he's the one who, who reveals himself. Um, you know, it's 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 like the biggest part in the in the whole Civil War storyline. It'd be like uh, Batman revealing himself. You know, it's pretty um, pretty pretty big part. You know, because he's a teenager, he's young, he's he's not as experienced. Uh, he's not as intelligent as Iron Man and whatnot, so he's very manipulated um, and and used and all that. So I don't know. I would like to see him in the movies. Um, a part of me, you know, maybe just wants to see him. A part of me would want just. I mean, every fan would want um, Marvel to get full control and full everything uh, from uh, from Sony. So maybe. You know, uh, they would they would do this. Uh, I just feel like it, they'd be better off just waiting and doing it. But you know, if they get pretty much, you know, uh, just as much freedom as if they owned it all outright, uh, with less uh, expenses, then maybe it could be a, a good idea for them. Um, and we'll see. And uh, yeah, we'll see what uh, what comes out of this. And maybe sometime we'll hear about uh, Kevin Feige. Let me go check him out on Twitter. Peace. See you on Twitter, guys. At Cool Movies 1. Peace.